Welcome to this week's Shanghai Quest, and I'm Michael Chang. Some people say that you can find them on every street corner of a the neighborhood. They cut, they perm, they highlight, they color. Their job is to make you look good. Yup, you guessed it. They are what we call hairdressers. But today, our guest is not only a hairdresser. He not only makes you look good, he actually makes you look magnificent, from being just pretty to being gorgeous. Welcome, Lee Mukes, to our show today. Welcome. He is a hairstylist here in Shanghai and is well known among top models and celebrities. For him, hair is not just hair; it's a form of art. Let's find out more about this type of art. But first, let's take a look at Lee's profile. Hi, my name is Lee Mukes. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Today, I live in Shanghai. I'm a hairdresser and with the ambition of being the prince of hair in China. So I work with major brands, international, local、um, salon chains. I do a lot of work with Wang Le, the brand Tiffany,、um, a lot of P&G acquired brands,、uh, Londa, SP. I、uh, do Swarovskoff projects. I work with a lot of industry media in China. I'm more published than like the two big names in my industry, and I'm, I'm just starting. I'm two years deep. I don't have endless resources, but my dream up here is to be the prince of hair. Period. This morning we're doing a follow-up to our fall collection. So about a month ago, I had my four models. They came in and we shot their technical, like、um, just big pictures. And a month later, they come back and then we're shooting video of the technical portion. This is part of our monochrome collection.、Um, you're seeing a lot of trends where hair is going really short, really fast.、Um, a lot of when it was pretty much a given that one of the hotter trends is a bob. But you see a lot of like movie stars, supermodels. They're starting to go with really short, like crop kind of pixie look hair. So I, you know, especially in China, it's, it's really important that. We're the first ones to do it. We're the first ones to release it before everyone else. And our intent is that when people want to find out what the trend is next year, two years from now, they look in our direction. So with Evans cut, I'm gonna go for like a little Star Trek kind of feel. And I'm putting in like a really square fringe because her face is really thin. So by putting in a square line and a thin surface, we can make this area look a little bit wider and get more of an ideal face shape going for her. Disconnection on the fringe to there. I mean, the overall shape I like. It's clean. It's with it. It fits her individual personality.、Um, the back has character, like the front has character. Her sides have character. That's why I threw in a really strong line to there. And this side has a, you know, has a conflicting corner, just like her back has a conflicting corner. So, and the. the I think from the overall 360 perspective, each different angle has enough character to make me happy with the result today. Yeah. Some things are good because it. I live in Xijiahui, and the reason I live in Xijiahui is that three years ago, when I, the very first time I came to Shanghai,、uh, the, one of the brand owners is in the states, one's in 
China, and he dropped me off at the Meilochen. And I just sat there at drinking Starbucks, and it was night, and just like the, the lights and the, the energy and the skyline of Shanghai, just, I, I was in awe. And I just saw tons of heads just moving, 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 horns, horns honking. It just, and I told myself, you know, if I ever come to China, I'm living right here. And I live a block away from where I made, decided. Yeah, so I'm Ling Mix, and this is where I come to um, relax, get my, frustrat my frustration, and make sure that I still stay a kid at heart. Actually, this one's my favorite. Her name's Brutus. She kicks hard. <laughs> I know a real cowboy can stay on. So, it's not as easy as it looks. We have a launch project starting August 28th. And it's like a 13 days, six cities. And it's for like a new um, domestic hair care brand. It's just like, um, we're doing like, um, like a bunch of shows. But their requirements are pretty high. They want us to do like 15 models. And so these are more headshots. So I need to get like more fashion shots in there. Yeah. So um, this is one of the models. And this is, I mean, this is just more like the, the focus is on the hair. But for each one, I always want one that's like a nice clean headshot, and I want to get a fashion shot, because the hair fashion and fashion fashion, they have to fit. This one is, should be like a little bit more um, gothic, a little bit evil, a little bit, it has a little <laughs> punk feel to it, a um, little bit angry, strong, masculine. Let's see, interesting. I really like it, actually, your style. It's really interesting, yeah. very elegant. I think you can match the simple for air, it's very clean and very elegant. We can show you some of our collection. Okay, okay. okay. Cool. Let's go. It's a little bit more classic, but it is really aggressive. This is hot. And the texture is fine. Yeah. This kind of idea. This is a black, we have a black and blue, but I think the black is the one that you're looking for for this picture you showed me before. This is nice, because I like the collar, because yeah. she has really sexy like shoulders mm -hmm. That's and a long nice. neck, so you can see, I mean, the pictures come out nice with some with this. Yeah. So one model could be like more light hair with a black stripe, mm -hmm. yeah? Like say, nice. this could fit like maybe You can contrast the, the, the color right. with also the two dresses. Right. And also, these two we have, uh, the color we have for this one, the one I showed you before, it's kind of blue and black. I think also can be fit with this idea because yeah. there we yeah. mentioned it also. When I first got out to China, I mean Shanghai, my first project, I wanted to feel the city. So I was on Hua Hai Lu uh, and Mao Ming Lu. And I just sat there for two hours just looking at people, like girls, shoes, bags, eyewear the clothes and it's on, you know, it's, it's, it's with it. Just the hair, it just it didn't fit. The hair looked like some farmer stuff from 10, 15 years ago, and that's, that's not a trend, that's a, that's a habit. In my opinion, a bad habit. And I need to fix that. Okay. 现在的头发这里有一点太厚比较流行的风格
Yeah, so now we get to get a look of uh, you know, our plain Jane Mary, yeah? Earlier we went in with long list salon, got a haircut. Um, we got her in a like really hot dress that we picked out the other day. Got her makeup to kind of fit the trend of I mean the shape of the haircut and the clothing. I mean this is it's a halo. Um, it's a long, clean, round shape. So the look she leaves with today, she can mimic at home with just a little bit of effort. Okay. Pana. My motivation for being in China, I will be the prince of hair. And that's step one. Yeah. Step two will be the king. But before you become the king, you have to be the prince. Um, I don't like shortcuts. <laughs> Every time I try to shortcuts, I fall on my face. And it's, you know, and it's always it's a good learning experience. And it's a method. And what I mean by being the prince of hair is not to be this cocky, arrogant, atypical hairdresser. It's to be the person that where people look for for direction. How do I how do I meet my life's potential? I'll show you how. Because I I'm meeting my life's potential. And there's to me there's nothing more shameful, disgusting, negative than wasting your potential and wasting time. It's the most precious thing we have in life. And there's there's no excuses. And I just you have a dream, it's not gonna be easy. It shouldn't be easy, but you know, when you're out, when when you're chasing it, it's, it just works out. And it's it's easy to make. You can make a thousand excuses why you shouldn't when there's only one excuse why you should, and that's following your heart. And, but everyone's motivation is different. I don't mind. And that's that's to be the prince of that in a positive way. When I first got to Shanghai, uh -huh. living two and a half years ago, yeah, yeah, and just like I saw the clothes, the fashions, mm -hmm. like you know, the shoes, clothes belts right. versus details. That's the trends. Right. And the hair was just like big, fried, poofed up, damaged. Hey, are, are you talking about me? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Welcome back to the studio. We have Lee with us today. Welcome, Lee. Thank you. Um, how's my hair today, by the way? Yeah, strong. It's a trend. <laughs> Be honest. I'm okay with it. And I like how it has like that little mohawk through the back, uh, it's kind of tight and then long. Uh, so that's kind of but they want me to have a little more conservative look here, so. Yeah, but it's not crazy. It's not yeah. crazy. And the back looks, the, the back of a haircut should always look just as strong as the front. Uh-huh. Yeah, because people see you from 360 degrees. So right. a lot of times the front's nice and the back's just real flat. That's very important yeah. because usually what we see is from what we see in the mirror, right? Exactly. We sort of ignore what's going back there. Mm -hmm. It's like another country kind of thing. So it's, a, it's always good. Personally, in the salon or when I'm doing a haircut, I just uh -huh. try to make sure the back has a lot of sophistication. Right. Because my, I myself, I just work on the front, I ignore the back. And right. I'm a pro, so I know my clients are doing the same thing. Uh -huh. When a client comes in, you know, when she walks in, what do you first look at? Shoes. Shoes. Shoes, yeah. Uh -huh. um, the methods that, uh -huh. I, that we use are a lot different than the average salon. Okay. Most people say if you're a client, you come into the salon, first thing we'll start talking about right away, we'll get you the hair. Mm -hmm. For me, that's the last thing I look at. Mm -hmm. I want to you know, assess your shoes, pants, your personal style. Because mm -hmm. you buy your shoes and your pants and your clothes and your little rings and those accessories mm -hmm. because you think they're interesting. You right. think that it fits you. Uh -huh. So once I get enough information visually from the details that you want, then I'll ask you more questions. Mm -hmm. And once, then from there, the last thing I'll look at is like your hair. Mm. It, should, it shouldn't be the first thing. Mm -hmm. And then you have to identify like the personal style. The clients here in China, of course you work with celebrities, with models, you know, what other professions do they I get to? I get a lot of um, mm. private business owners. Okay. I get a lot of like, I get a lot of architects. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of interior designers. Mm -hmm. Like the big group of clients that I have, they're all from, they all do yoga together. Right. And another group, they all play uh, uh, golf together. Uh -huh. So I'll do one haircut, and next thing you know, like they send everyone. Is it true, like Asian hair is different from you know hair of a Caucasian? Yeah, I mean, it's how different? Thicker. I mean, it, and as a rule of thumb, uh -huh. Asian hair is a lot thicker. Right. Um, denser. There's a lot more hair per cubic centimeter. Yeah. Wow. But at the end of the day, um, you know, you have a lot of stylists or clients will say, well, you know, you can get that look on Asian hair, mm -hmm. not Caucasian, or Caucasian mm -hmm. hair, but not Asian. Is that, that true, or, it, or no. is that? It's, it's, it's a cop-out. Uh -huh. I mean, we're, I'm a Hollywood native. Uh -huh. We work at one of the top salons in Beverly Hills. Right. And if 
I go in for, if I'm a client and you're a client, say we're best friends, mm -hmm. we, both go, we both go and we want to get the same look. Mm -hmm. My boss cuts my hair, cuts your hair, mm -hmm. the result's different. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if my boss told you, well, there's nothing I can do, you're Asian. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a weak cop out. Mm -hmm. you know, Asian hair, you may have to take you know, smaller sections. Mm -hmm. There's more details in there that you have to consider, but at the end of the day, a professional consistently can des deliver the results. Mm -hmm. How different is working in Hollywood and in Shanghai? <laughs> I, I, I miss How it. <laughs> I miss it. I miss the. Um, I miss being in the salon. Uh -huh. I mean, right now, the maj most uh, probably the majority of my work is their technical seminars. Mm -hmm. I miss working next to strong staff. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get inspired when mm. you just look right next door to you. Right. And your, your colleagues, everyone. There's a standard, right. and everyone's focus and. At least in our brand, mm -hmm. everyone's about being the best. Yeah. There's their technical seminars. Mm -hmm. I miss working next to strong staff. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get inspired when mm -hmm. you just look right next door to you. Right. you know, your colleagues, everyone, there's a standard. Right. And everyone's focus, and at least in our brand, mm -hmm. everyone's about being the best. Yeah. So if you're having a bad day, you don't have a bad day because their energy picks you up. Right. And you're kind of, I mean, that's why. I, this year definitely have to start going back and forth more. Yeah. Because I've been out here for like wow, two years. Uh -huh. It's just been more me, me on my own. I'll, right. You know, call and we'll shoot emails back and forth. Yeah. But I just went back and we shot a couple of videos mm -hmm. and did our fall winter trend like four months ago. Uh -huh. And I just I missed it so much. Yeah. Yeah. But I I, I, I have to be global. Uh -huh. And global is you know Hollywood, Shanghai, Hollywood, Shanghai. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the sounds of it is like you know I would rather you know stay in Hollywood rather than. Shanghai, right. then why did you pick Shanghai? The, the challenge. I mean, uh -huh. Hollywood, I, I, I've cut my teeth. Right. I've paid my dues. Right. In LA, I was at the point where I wake up, go to work, mm -hmm. go home, and I was in a routine. Mm -hmm. you know, I like a struggle. I, I, I like when I was first starting, mm -hmm. where my ambitions was, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shake this up. Mm -hmm. And then you have a goal and you just keep on going. You kind of get there and it's kind of like, you become placematic. Mm -hmm. And I think when you become comfortable, that's when you start slipping. Right. So China, I told myself, well, let's do China. Uh -huh. I'll do it in China. It sounds crazy. It sounds impossible. Yeah. Yeah. And we're getting there. Yeah. And it's, um, I, like, I like the struggle. And I like yeah. constantly having to... I love China because it's, it's, you get to practice your uh -huh. adaptation. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's, you never know what's around the corner. But in a way, you must admit, you know, the fashion trend here is not really, you know, up front, right? It's um, so you were mentioning, you know, you're, you're at a street corner in, in, in Xu Jia oh, Hui, right. or, you know, Huai Hai Lu and Mao Ming Lu. Right. Um, what was your first impression when you see these people's head coming, you know, hair, you know, it was coming and going in that, front that, of you? Actually, that, that was more like when I first got to Shanghai, uh -huh. living two and a half years ago, yeah? Yeah. And just like I saw the clothes, the mm -hmm. fashions, like, you know, the shoes, clothes, belts, right. purses, details, that's their trends. Right. And the hair was just like big, fried, poofed up, damaged. Are, are you talking about me? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of them were just like really fuzzy with uh -huh. the fringe, uh -huh. and that's not a trend. I mean, the hair has to fit the clothes, so yeah. now it's changing. I mean, yeah. China is, the thing I like about China, it, it changes fast, right. and it, it'll be up to you never, it might be next year, it might be five years, uh -huh. but it, it changes fast. And right. here, people need direction. Uh -huh. And I, for my industry, I want to be a go-to guy to find out what, what's really in. Uh -huh. yeah. When you cut a hair, what's the, what's the length of time that they can, like, you know, um, continue that look? Maintain it. Yeah, uh, maintain um, that look. I'd say a, a good rule of thumb, strong haircut, probably s two months, mm -hmm. six to eight weeks. Right. Um, and if, uh, for my personal clients, it's... I, I, Doing the haircuts, huh? Mm -hmm. If I cut your hair mm -hmm. and the result we get today, you go home and take a shower, mm -hmm. you can never get that look again. Mm -hmm. You come back and slap me because mm -hmm. I just gave you a bad haircut. At least that way you can QC yourself because oh. no one's perfect. But the look, the, one of its biggest challenge, it's also a challenge mm -hmm. in the States. And it's a global challenge. Mm -hmm. A lot of stylists, when they cut, they do the shape. It's mm -hmm. not so strong. They can style and blow dry the hair really good. Mm -hmm. And the client leaves the salon with a delightful look. Right. They'll go home and take a shower and they never get the look again. Yeah. And that's not hair. That's not hair cutting. That's uh -huh. hair dressing. That's styling and stuff. Uh -huh. But you know, the hair should be functional, wash and wear. And the look you leave with should be the same look you get a week, a month, the day before your next appointment. Uh -huh. It's just a longer version of the shape. Right. How far are we from the Hollywood standard? Realistically, mm -hmm. well, I mean, mm -hmm. five, ten years. But how are you going to make it? You know, oh. to speed this whole process up. Yeah. You know, to make um, it from. 
10 years, 15 years to five years kind of thing? I mean, I mean it's, um, it's in the development, it's in the education, the training. I, I like dealing with the younger style, uh -huh. especially for training and seminars. That's why I do a lot of education. And it's just, uh, when, 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 when I say Hollywood standard, again, I'm talking about the elite, like mm -hmm. point zero zero one of mm -hmm. the busy salons in Hollywood. Right. You're among like, some of the top cutters in the world. Here, or in the States, one of the biggest challenges is a student, someone learning, when it's good enough and they're okay. But good enough, you're just here. Just getting, pushing it that extra, that extra inch, that extra mile. Mm -hmm. And that's what takes it to the next level, mm -hmm. the standard. Yeah. But I think it, it, it's getting better because I think a, a lot of the negative things with salon wise in China was, comes from the top, comes from the older, more established stylists mm -hmm. that are that use techniques from 15 years ago when mm -hmm. China really wasn't that open to, right. to the most effective right. ways of cutting hair. Yeah. I like the newer ones and I give them more attention because they'll push, they give the older stylists mm -hmm. more pressure mm -hmm. and they can do the same look faster, better. And eventually you go through evolutions and the people that won't adapt, mm -hmm. you're gonna die out and the new ones are gonna come up. If you don't, if you don't adapt, you're done. Mm -hmm. So eventually, those they'll weed out, and the, the new blood kind of brings it in. Or not necessarily new blood, the, the ambitious, mm -hmm. the people that want to be the best. How many more years until you become the prince of mm -hmm. hair? Prince, five years. Five years. Minimum. I mean, yeah, maximum, probably. I mean, minimum, well, in five years, five years. I'm sure you can do it. Good I just, luck. yeah, I just want to have, like, a, enough distance. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Great. Great to have you with us today, Lee. Bye, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll take a break right now, but we'll be right back with Shanghaipedia. Ready to strike a pose with a new look? Hmm, you gotta do something with your hair first. Maybe this time you want to try something totally different and sophisticated. Well, check out Lee's website to make an appointment. On this site, you can also get the most current updates on the latest hair trends and hair care. You can also book an appointment with Lee at Wang Lei Studio located in Westgate Mall. If you still can't decide how your new hairdo should look, don't worry. Check out these websites. Not only will you find the latest hair trends, but also the list of top salons and stylists near you. Hey, are you looking for a new hair dryer or find a flat iron to sculpt your hair? You can find all kinds of professional hair styling tools in shops after shops after shops on Guangdong Road near People's Square. Now we come to the end of this week's Shanghai Quest. Do write to us at shanghaiquest at ics.smg.cn. Let us know what kind of interesting people's lives and occupations you are hoping to see. We'll try to make every story inspiring to you. Stay with us next week and have a great weekend. See you all next week and goodbye.